stocking up. We love them. We cook with them. We just eat them as snacks and they go in packed lunches. It's a beautiful autumnal tree. There's some really rather lovely colours going on there. Like many of you guys, in the middle of the pandemic, we've been getting a lot more deliveries, and of course I indulge in some coffee. And I love supporting local. A friend of mine uh, introduced me to a yet another North Carolina brand, so I figured I'd give them a try. And part of the proceeds go to a good cause. 50% of the proceeds go directly to education, and there's not a more important cause that I could think of than educating our kids. Get out my trusty kitchen knife. It's Ginsu. It cuts through a can. Remember those old commercials? I went all in. That's two and a half pounds worth of coffee right there. I definitely am not gonna need any coffee anytime soon but what i love about their packaging as well is that all of this packaging is 100 percent biodegradable and it takes very little time for it to be consumed by nature look at that they gave me a little bit of swag i like their slogan it's a uh, dream big rise strong that's pretty cool and if uh, you're looking to order any of their stuff um from um right here in north carolina this is uh smalltowncoffeeroasters.com so this is the farmsteadapp.com new grocery delivery to north carolina uh, into the charlotte area in which we live what i find kind of interesting about this is is that they don't have an app the farmsteadapp.com without an app anyways what makes farmstead so good what i what really drew me to them was first off they gave me a $30 coupon. So I got roughly about $100 worth of groceries and I paid 70 bucks for it. And here's what's interesting. No delivery fees or service charges. So how do they make that work? They basically use artificial intelligence to figure out what they need to stock and what they don't need to stock, which means less overhead. Uh, there's no physical place to walk in. So that's how they save and make their money is they just order what they need, which makes a whole lot of sense to me. Why do we always over purchase products just to sit there on the shelf to go stale and just get thrown away? I mean, that seems really weird to me. Doesn't it seem kind of weird to you? This is my first delivery with them and we were able to get everything that we would normally get from our grocery everything seemed like it was in stock including my wife's absolute favorite chocolate bars they're chocolate raspberry she really loves these things and organic this has got to be the biggest bag of blue chips i think i've ever seen they're tortilla chips but they're organic it's a uh, garden of eden and uh check that out 16 ounces. Usually get those really tiny bags. Pasta sauce for a dinner for one night. A really interesting salsa. I mean, there has to be something really cool about that word, salsa. Did they make a Seinfeld episode about that? I think they made a Seinfeld episode. Let me know if you kind of remember that, as I do. Really, really interesting flavor on this one. It's Mateo's uh, Gourmet Salsa. Toothpaste. I like the snack, so I got some cookies. That's box number one. Box number two. It's the heaviest of them because all this stuff needs to be refrigerated. So this is what I got. A little bag of lettuce. I try to eat my salads often. Salad dressing. We wanted to do Mongolian beef in the Instant Pot one night, so we figured we'd try this. These are uh, broccoli crowns, so I figured I'd make some Mongolian beef and steam some broccoli. That should be tasty. My wife has a hankering for apple cider. Orange juice. 
It says not from concentrate. Check it for the Mongolian beef. I got this uh, grass-fed flank steak. This should be great. Chicken for the salad. I like to make a chicken Caesar. Grill this. Some pasta. It's really hard to find good quantities of product when you're only cooking for two people. Have you guys ever noticed that? And then I got this. This is the first time I've seen this brand. Kohlhaas. And it's chocolate molten cake. Flavored ice cream. I love me some Indian food. I saw that they had these. These are samosas. You just throw them in the oven. Oh my gosh, I could eat a ton of this. And it's um, all vegetarian, vegan friendly. If you love Indian food, um, or you wanted to try to check out vegetarian food, check out curries and Indian food and whatnot. Got some green onions for uh, the Mongolian beef, which I like. And then I got a whole ton of burritos. I eat these things for a quick meal, zap them in the microwave. Um, a lot of good protein and all organic. And lastly, they gave me some garlic. I think I only ordered one of them and they ended up giving me two. That's my farmstead first delivery. So anyway, check it out. Prices were pretty reasonable to me. Um, and not a huge selection, but just enough to make it right. And plus no delivery fees and $30 off and no service fees. They make that worthwhile. I would take advantage of that if it was close to me, if it was you know, up to me for you, oh, I would check it out. Plus, if they give you a $30 coupon for your first order, I mean, hey, that's $30 worth of free food. This is just like us walking into uh, like a fresh market or uh, Harris Teeter or something like that. You know, prices may be a little bit eh, marginally, uh, you know, at the top of the level or top of the tier, but you know, hey, uh, no delivery fees, no service fees, I'll take that. Where do you put your sweets? I just put the cookies in my microwave. You never know, it's crawling around your house, so. It's got a door, it shuts. We don't use the microwave too, too often, so. And that'll lug the trash to the garbage. Ugh. Big boxes, but at least they're cardboard. Getting plastic just annoys the crap out of me. I, I don't know. I know this hasn't been necessarily the most eco-friendly vlog ever, as you can remember it, but yeah. the primary point would be is, is you do what you can, where you can, when you can. It should be almost all the time if you're really good at it, but I'm not that good at it. Oh! What do you think? So, what is it, exactly does a blue chip look like? They're literally blue. Mm. Mm. Admit it. Are you a double dipper? I think you're a double dipper. What is that you might ask? If you take a chip and you dip it, then you dip again. This has got some good heat on it. Steve, you cannot have any. Steve says he wants some. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't think salsa and coffee go well together. But coffee goes great with everything. When things are really spicy, I don't know about you, they give me the hiccups. Whew. Oh no. Think they're gone? 
I don't know what to say. I'm just a big old hot mess. I have a really hard time putting these things back in the pantry. Do you guys have like chip clips or something like that? Do you not eat chips? I don't, I don't know, but that seems to work. School supplies to the rescue. And we've decided that we just can't wait for eating samosas now. This will make for a nice lunch slash, I don't know. Is tea in the UK, is that technically kind of considered dinner? Or is it just like a snack? Or, I don't know. I've heard lots of different stories. I watch a lot of different YouTubers. That's still a pondering question on my mind. Maybe if you have some knowledge, just let me know. But uh, I've always kind of wondered, is tea technically dinner? I understand that UK maybe eats like a heavier lunch and a lighter dinner. I don't know. Um, for us, we try to eat when we feel like it. Or for me, most times I just typically eat one big meal a day and then usually snack throughout the rest of the day. I know, probably not really healthy, but anyways. So... We're gonna make these up really quickly. Basically all they are is pastry with potatoes and peas. You can't go wrong with that. And I gave you this little chutney. It's fantastic. Let's go and uh, press bake. 375 degrees in my gas fired oven. No, that's not rust, that's seasoning. The darker the pan, by the way, um, the more seasoned your pans are. This used to be non-stick, but you can see it's gotten well used over the time. This can be served cold. You hear my oven start up, just went woof. They're so cute. Yeah, so that's a definitely a, a good cook secret for like, you want a darker pan for like cooking, like if you want your, like yeah, you make chocolate chip cookies, right? You want a darker pan if you actually want darker bottom cookies. It's very odd, very interesting, but trust me, it works. Green chutney. Just kind of moving around in my hands a little bit and letting the heat from my hands kind of Thaw it. And there you go. And out of wait, 15 minutes. Set a timer for 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes, starting now. 15 minutes later. Get ready. Get on the mittens so I don't burn myself. Watch out, Steve. Samosas. And I think on that note, we're going to go eat some lunch. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed your New Year's. Oh, it's great. Mm. Just potatoes and peas. With the green chutney, it's fantastic. A little bit of vinegar, all that green yumminess. Till we see you again. Bye. I'm coming home.